How's it going? Thank you. Again, again, again. Hello, hi, good morning. How's it going? Let's see if this will vibe. You guys are gonna have to tell me if there is any issues because um, this is my first time streaming in the new place. So yeah, give me a holler if anything is lacking. But exciting, new, new places. Oot, oot, oot. <laughs> Thanks for the invite, you're very welcome. Thank you for being here with me. Good morning. Um, are you on holiday? No, I'm at my friend's place at the moment. Cause as I said, like I'm going on a big trip soon and um, I had to move out of my house. So I've moved into my friend's house just to stay before I go. And her nice is obviously a whole lot better than mine. <laughs> Uh, to be a bit of an update. Something looks new. Just a, just a, just a tad, hey. <laughs> Look, I love my place. It has a lot of charm, but um, it's not the flashiest place. Good morning, Rain. Have a great live. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me into your home. You're very welcome. I'm happy you're here. It's not really my home. Well, it is for a week, but um, but yeah, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Settle down. We're going to be here for a while. New kitchen, same gear. It's always the same face. Always the same face. Hi. It is a nice kitchen, isn't it? Yes. Um, one can dream. <laughs> so now you need to get cooking. I know. I will be making some breakfast with you guys today. Um, and maybe tomorrow or the day after I will maybe bake something. I've never really baked before so I thought that would be fun. <laughs> it's so bright in there and your voice echoes. Are you complaining Dylan? Tell me you're not joining in my stream the first three minutes with a complaint. <laughs> I like how you color coordinated with the kitchen. Thank you, I'm happy you noticed. <laughs> Um, it's your husband's kitchen. No, it is not. It is actually my girlfriend's place. Um, who I, like I go to this place every Tuesday, so you would have seen the view from here if you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> you did a great job with the renovation. Imagine if I made my place look like this. No, look, she lives on like the 13th floor as well and like has a lot more <laughs> space than I do. <laughs> it's really nice, I like it, but it's not mine, unfortunately. But it's beautiful though. <laughs> I am not in Sweden, no. I'm just at my friend's place because I'm moving out of my house and I thought if I just move out a bit early, then I can like prioritize just getting my house cleaned so it's all ready for the tenants moving in on Friday. The lighting is too good in the kitchen, but apps. Oh, are you saying the lighting is not good? I thought the lighting was a heaps better than in my place. Considering it's overcast, I was like, it's a lot of light. Damn. <laughs> oh, I forgot. oh, thank you for the TikTok hat. I forgot to put my Instagram in. Nothing new there. How are you guys? Are you having a lovely weekend? A week? Week. Not quite with the week weekend yet. I swear even I struggled writing my name, hey. Mm -hmm. Hi. Beep. Much more light. I don't have any more light. This is all the light that I've had. I would just have to locate the screen differently then. Okay, Dylan, okay. I can't wait for the weekend. I have loads planned. What do you have planned? Tell me, I want to hear about your weekend plans. It is Thursday morning, 7.38 a.m. for me in Australia. Australia time. Lighting is fine. It's a bit dark, but it is what it is. I still reckon it's way better than my place. Um, 
It's a different kitchen, that is correct. Um, a very different kitchen, one would argue, but uh, I like it. The fridge is so big. So big. <laughs> I always see you, but do you actually do anything? No. I try not to. I'm a very lazy person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I usually cook and eat and talk. I talk a lot. She do be talking a lot. Thank you. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite shirt as much as I would say it's you guys' favorite shirt. And I'm here to please. Congrats on the new crib. Thank you. Am I your favorite now? That's nice. We like. If you are new here and you haven't yet, I'd very much appreciate a follow, both on here and on my Instagram. We're trying to grow the socials. Um, so yeah, that'd be very lovely. <laughs> I'm trying to get to um, 1 million followers on TikTok and 100,000 on Instagram. I forgot that I haven't connected this phone to ah, internet. How to do that? Thank you for sharing the live as well. Sorry, as I said, this is a whole new setup for me today, so give me a minute as I try to get everything focused. Are you able to stream on the internet now? Yes, because her internet's way better than mine. <laughs> um, I think. I hope. So yeah. Um, are you Danish? Sure I am. <laughs> and I'm actually going to Denmark in one week. Next week. I'm going to Denmark next week. It's wild. I swear time has flown so fast, hey. How long are you staying there? In Denmark or? How come you're not at your place? Because I had to move out, because there's new people moving in. So I'm at my friend's place until I leave for Denmark. Um, I'm at my friend's place. Dee -dee -dee. Is your friend going to come into live? No, she just left to go to work. Uh, are you going to live stream from Denmark? Yes, I will try and stream at least five days a week i'm not sure i'll be able to do six days a week because i'll be um my god it's not going too quickly today <laughs> i will have a lot of weekend plans especially in denmark just because i'm um um <laughs> i'm seeing friends and family and stuff so so yeah what time are you going live at? I don't know yet. I will have to wait and see when I get there, what works best. So yeah. Thank you for the TikTok cats. I appreciate them. Can we see what's in the fridge? Well, it's not my fridge now, so I kind of would feel a bit rude showcasing my friend's food. Just enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'm leaving next week, Dylan. Next week. So you'll be missing out on a couple of streams. Uh, it would be your Tuesday and Wednesday, I believe, but I'm not quite sure yet. Thank you, and thank you for the roses, guys. I appreciate it. Yes, I am going to see my niece. This place looks more tidy than your previous residence. It's because it's not mine, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um... Abs are looking good, thank you. I actually haven't um, trained abs in a while. I'll have to do that soon. I'm still as tall as the fridge, yes. I'm fridge height. <laughs> That's a cool kitchen, I think so too. I'd love to have a kitchen like this one day. One day. I have a big white kitchen. Hey, we gotta subscribe. Thank you. 
loved your new Instagram post, an inspirational passage from the book as your journey is an inspiration to me and us all. Thank you very much. Um, I was actually, it was a book I got sent to my PO box and it was really nice. I really liked it. Australia has short fridges. Yes, that is true. I don't know why Australia has short fridges. It's a, it's a thing over here. Can you speak Danish? Yes, yes I can. Fluently too. That is your book. It was a, it was a good book. I liked it. It was nice and, and, and short and sweet, which I liked. I read the whole thing this morning. <laughs> I read really fast though. Um, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Did it? Maybe if you... <laughs> okay. We need to become real. What do you mean real? <laughs> um, do you think that in 20 years the TikTok, Instagram, Twitch next networks will still exist? Yes. I don't, I'm not so sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do think so. Surely there'll be new networks too that will kind of like take over, but I think they'll still exist because us oldies will, will want to stay on them. Do you think... Uh, oh, I already answered that. How much money do you make on this? It very much depends. Some days maybe a lot, some days maybe not so much. No, I don't wear shoes when I'm inside. <laughs> um, I'm mesmerized by your accent. <laughs> Thank you. I made it myself. Alright, we are. I did buy some oats for myself yesterday. Because like, I always had to clean out my kitchen, so I threw out all of my food last time. Congratulations, congratulations on the new place. Imagine if this was my place. You must have good friends. Nice of them to let you stay. It is very nice of them. That was a lot of hair. <laughs> the kitchen is beautiful. Um, I'm still wondering if this would work better if I was just on data on my phone, but I don't know. Why are you always in the kitchen? Because I'm always eating. That's what I do. What state are you in? I'm in Queensland. Yes, I am Aussie. Well, not Aussie. I, I've lived here for four years, so I call myself an Aussie, but I'm technically not. I'm Danish. Thank you for the TikTok hats. Hey, and a little raid. Is your friend tall? Because that shelf looks quite high. No, she's actually the same height as me, which is funny because, for example, these cupboards, it's like you can't reach stuff up here you know like <laughs> if you were to get anything from the back of the shell it would be impossible but oh well is it rainy it's been a bit overcast today yeah thank you Hey, getting all the TikTok hats today, thank you. I'm a very nice person, am I welcome? We welcome all people, especially kind of people. Is it weird doing the stream from a different kitchen? It is a little bit weird, I think I got really used to having like a certain ankle and lighting 
and now it's like all changed up but it's a good thing that i'm getting used to like switching it up because obviously i'm going to start traveling next week and there it's going to be different like almost every week so i have to get used to it but yeah the lighting's definitely different here <sighs> why does the camera move on twitch i have an ai tracking camera Why did you give up your house? Well, I didn't. I'm just subletting it. I've got hair everywhere. Please. Um, but yeah, I didn't think that it would make sense for me to keep paying for my place when I'm going to be gone for so long. It would be a bad financial decision. I am shedding my hair all over the floor. I'm not sure what's going on. Getting bold, I think. How's your day going? So far, so good. Why do you have an Aussie accent if you're Norwegian? <laughs> I'm Danish, but I've lived in Australia for four years, so hence the accent. I know I don't need them, but like it can't hurt. I swear I'll vacuum afterwards. Um, love a Dane. We love a Dane, don't we? Hablas Espanol. Espanol. Si, sí, un poquito Espanol. Y tú? If I brought my fish with me. I don't have a fish. How old are you? I'm 28. Hair stuck on the back of my shirt. Can you flex your abs? Yes. Here. Yep. Beep, 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 beep. Has someone moved? I feel like I'm gonna get that question like eight million times today. Everyone was always like, you should stream different places. And now I'm streaming a different place and everyone, why did you stream a different place? <laughs> Danish women are beautiful. All women are beautiful. When are you going to Denmark? Next week. Next week, baby. It's going to be weird. But it's also going to be great. I'm going to see my little niece for the first time, Emma. I'm very excited. I'm going to see my family. I'm going to see my friends. Probably going to get sick because the weather is horrible, but that's okay. Going to get some seasonal depression. Been a while since I've had that, so that's always nice. Um, new place. This is my friend's place. As I said, I've moved into hers. Um, for the, um, for until, blah, 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 blah. restart, until I'm leaving next week for Denmark, because then I could just spend my time cleaning my house without having all my stuff in it. I'm losing so much hair. It's not good. It's not good. So yeah. So it happens like that when you have, um, when your first language is in English, sometimes, especially in the morning when you like wake up and you start talking. And then sometimes like your English hasn't caught up with your brain and then you're like, it's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a whole lot of resetting in your head. And you're like, okay, let me just, especially because I talked to one of my friends in Denmark this morning. So like my morning started off in Danish and now I'm switching over to English and it's, it's a whole thing. Um, I should pin that on the stream, but I don't know how to pin that on the stream. I guess I kind of, I, I did it to myself by saying new crib who it is. Oh, 
Uh, I activated the Zoom thing on this. <laughs> For everyone who doesn't know what's going on, I'm um, I'm streaming on Twitch as well, and I have like an AI tracking camera over there, and it has its own life. Sometimes it just it zooms. Oh no, it found me. Ah! <laughs> Also why I do the peace sign because then it usually deactivates, but I haven't figured out how to work it yet. Stop zooming! <laughs> ah! Hey, stop. Okay. So I'm just going to be streaming from behind here until the camera stops finding me. <laughs> uh, bunning snacks. We love a bunning snack. Is a weird AI camera to be honest. Ah, we back. But yeah, it just it's it zooms some weird places. But hi, welcome back. If you are new here, I would very much appreciate a follow both on here and on Instagram. I'm trying to grow my channels and get to one million followers on TikTok and a hundred thousand on Instagram. So if you want to support my channels. Drop us a follow. If you won't, that's also okay. Everyone's welcome here. I feel like this camera has zoomed in now. Am I correct about that? Or I want it to zoom back out. Mm. Mm. Me and technology, guys. You would think that I'm better with technology considering how, um, how long I've been <laughs> working online, but I'm really not. The 360? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Was it here before? I feel like it's... Um, eh. You're just gonna have to enjoy a zoomed in version today. I just thought you could see... You could see, eh, Never mind. Never mind! Supplements. And the funny thing is like my friend has a cat and if you know me, you know I'm like really allergic to cats. So I literally just shut, shut it out on the balcony. I was like, this is my crib now. <laughs> Poor thing. What are you saying good morning for? Because it's morning here. It is almost 8 a.m. Howdy. It is a new background. How's the weather in Denmark? The weather has been a bit overcast today, but it's kind of all right because I'm doing so much moving back and forth and I'm cleaning and that would have just been annoying if the weather was amazing because then I would have rather been on the beach, you know? Do you work out? Yes, once in a while. I have seen the inside of the gym before. Mm -hmm. Hi, how's it going? Thank you for the follows, guys. I appreciate them. I can't actually see them, but I assume they're coming. <laughs> and I need to get the Wi-Fi password. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Or maybe... Hmm. Good morning. How's it going? can't do that on that. Mm. Interesting. I am in Australia, but I won't be for much longer. I'm going to Denmark next week. Mm. Hey, thank you for the subscribe. We got a new subscribe on YouTube. Yes, I am Danish. Hope my morning cup of coffee will kick in soon. I hope that for you too. Are you gonna be my future wife? Probably not. No. I feel like the chances are pretty damn low for that, but um, hey, you never know. Mm. I 
would like to get some data on this phone. Did you get your visa? No. Not yet. Have you tried backing up to see if it zooms out? It doesn't because I deactivated the, the thing. I can try and reactivate it. It does it if I do this, usually. Ah! It did it! Ha! Hold on. I'll be back in a second, guys. I really should figure out how this actually works instead of just having to hide every time. Ha! -ha. There you go. Smart. I would like to buy more data. data. Recharge. Your new place matches your shirt. I'm all about white kitchens. I love a white kitchen. But see, this is the stupid part because you want to recharge your data, but you need data to recharge your data. So I can't recharge my data. Da 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 da. <laughs> now it is. Yes, it's Thursday here too. Thank you. So, how am I supposed to do it? I do not know. I'm not in Denmark yet. I will be in Denmark next week. No? Oh, is it working? It might be working. Uh, lightning in this kitchen is better for you. I uh, thank you. <laughs> With a credit card. Mm. How much do we need, you reckon? We do two. Mm. Then I need my credit card. I don't have my credit card. I don't know where I put my can I, uh, PayPal maybe. It's a very slow ordeal. <laughs> mm. nah, I reckon we'll have to do it with a credit card. I have to go find my credit card. Two seconds. Invalid input. What do you mean? Ah. We're getting there. Don't give credit card details. Oh, you guys don't want my credit card details? Not a shame. <laughs> <sighs> mm. 
You have to retype that because she isn't paying attention. Sorry, I was recharging my phone. Um, you are using the wrong hand signals. Open palm turns on and off the tracking. Make an L turns off zoom and peace sign turns off. Ah, right, I see. Can't you use your friend's Wi-Fi? Yeah, but my Wi-Fi is already being used for the computer and my other phone, so I don't want to like overdo it because the signal won't be strong enough, I don't think. Uh, do, 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 do. There we got it. We got it, I think. This should work, I think. Mappy, Mappy. Mm -hmm. Is it? Perhaps. It says 5G. How's the bulk going? The bulk is actually not starting until the first, so I'm just slowly getting into the into things. Um well it does have multiple devices on it. It has two devices on it already, so um uh read my earlier message. You're gonna have to rewrite it, sorry. I think it's working. Yay. Now I can see if you guys are actually following me or not. So I can hassle you. Yes. Woohoo. Ah. Um, um, always a great way to start a stream. When I was doing um, public speaking, they have someone when you're speaking counting all the times you say um. It's actually really, really hard not to say um. <laughs> um. Um. So now I notice that every time somebody has a speech. Put them on blast. <laughs> I will. So we're stuck in the kitchen. Yes. Very lucky. Welcome. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> and thank you for the TikTok hats. I'm very good. Thank you very much. Um, it's exciting being in, in a new place. I like it. I like it a lot. But see, then it zooms. I don't want it to zoom. See? Really? I don't want it to zoom. I don't. I want it to track, but I don't want it to zoom. Um. <laughs> ah, no, no, still zooms. See, still zooms. I don't like it. <laughs> this must look so weird for you guys, but yeah, sorry. The only way I can figure out how to do it is just turning it completely off, I think. Just bear with me as I get my technology under control. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> technology is wild, man. If somebody would have told me that I would be live streaming with an AI tracking camera in my kitchen, in a couple of years, I probably wouldn't have believed you. Um, if your messages are gonna, if your messages are getting deleted, then I probably shouldn't be reading them. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. I want to show you guys the views. It's so beautiful from where my friend lives. But I will later on. Do, 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 do. It is following me around, <laughs> but I stopped it now. It's fine. Are we going to get a balcony stream? 
I mean, it would be very windy, so it would be hard for you guys to hear me, but I'm sure we could figure something out. Forever ignored. I didn't ignore her. I saw you said to drive with the other hand, but I just don't want to keep annoying my viewers by me doing all sorts of hand signals to the camera. I'll figure it out later. How do you stay fit? I work out a lot. So I work out six days a week and then I always do some form of like cardio. Like I'm very active. I walk every morning. Um, I obviously stream as well. I know people don't think it's a lot, but like in general me standing here flexing casually for three hours probably also helps a little bit and then um, Yeah, and then the gym on top of that. So I'm very active and then I eat pretty healthy um, You look like my mom you must have a beautiful mom then good for her Hola chica, como estas? I do have a big heart. <laughs> you flex for three hours, pretty much. Yeah, I just stand like this the whole day. <laughs> no chocolate then, I'm guessing. I've never been a massive fan of chocolate, except for like three days before my period. I crave, for some reason, a Kinder Egg. Fun fact about me. If I'm getting cranky with you and it's like a couple of days before my period, throw a kinder egg at me and I'll be happy. I'm a simple woman. Easy to please. Did that just zoom in again? It did. <sighs> Turn off. Stop it. Um, doop, 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 doop. Yeah, no, but other than that, I've never really had an interest in chocolate or sweets for that sake. Do you have kids? Not that I know of, no. Um, but yeah, no. I think I'm more of a savory person, if, if anything, when it comes to unhealthy stuff. Black chocolate or white chocolate? As I said, I don't really eat chocolate, so... Quite a few people asking if we can donate alert on screen when people donate, like... Same as sub alert. Did I not already do that? I got the alert on screen. It worked last time Billy donated. But yeah, we definitely can, but I already put it on. People are just not donating, <laughs> which is fine. I'm not complaining. I was just saying. Um, I'd like, can I see your tattoo? Which one? See? Thank you, Van. I really appreciate you. And thank you for all the followers, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm very excited because I feel like... Um, I feel like I'm going to reach my goals this year. I did put it on. Yeah. Can somebody try, try and donate a dollar so we can show John that I figured it out and I set it up? Billy quite literally sent me, like, God on God instructions on how to set it up. Because I'm not so smart when it comes to technology. <laughs> um, hello. I have lived in Australia for four years, so I kind of claim being an Aussie, but I'm not fully. Does it work when people request money too? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, but look, shout out to the guy yesterday trying to do this. Did you get money? <laughs> I mean, maybe if you had written the reason why you wanted the money and it had been like a really good cause, there would have been a chance that I would have given you the money, but, um, but no, that's not how it works. Um, oh, it's not when you donate through the normal PayPal. I think it's when you donate through Streamlabs. I think. I don't know. <laughs> um, I... And thank you so much for all the gifts on TikTok too, guys. I appreciate it. How often do you have a cheat day? Um, probably once a month. 
Do you want the PayPal link as a donate or the stream? I would like the PayPal one because I just realized, and this is really bad from my side, but I just realized that when you do it through the Streamlabs one, it doesn't go directly to PayPal. It goes like through Streamlabs. And then you have to go into Streamlabs and like get it out from there. And that's just a whole other process. So it actually would be a lot easier if it was just from PayPal. But I didn't know how to set that up. So yeah, see, that knows. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> What is your job? I am a full-time content creator. And yes, I am in Australia right now. I come from the land down under. New kitchen. It's my friend's kitchen. Yes, she has gracefully let me stream from her kitchen. And it's so beautiful. Beautiful. However, I don't know where anything is. <laughs> um, we're gonna try and find the cup. Oh. That was the first go. Oh, lucky me. A very small cups. Uh, I'm sure more people have PayPal anyways. Yeah, but it's through Pay. How? I have no idea. I have all the channels. I literally have every single social media channel you can think of. You can find all of them in my link tree. Is your friend that owns the house also? No, no, no. She works with the company I actually used to work for. I think the cat wants to come in. <laughs> Hold up, I'll let in the cat. Um, but yeah, it's her place. Uh, I have no idea. What what's happening? Wasn't that boss a joke to you? Yes, yes he was. Don't know how much you looked into, but I think. Wait, don't know how much you've looked into it, but I think it's recommended to use the wording tips. Don't tem temper it if it had to do with doing taxes later. Look, I pay taxes on every single thing I get. All right? I am really, really boring person when it comes to my taxes. I'm not trying to dodge anything because I don't want to get in trouble. So when somebody donates um, $5 on PayPal, I pay two and a half dollars in tax. So there's that. So don't you worry. <laughs> they can come for me. I'm ready. I do also stream on YouTube. Yes. And on TikTok. I am everywhere. <laughs> and everywhere is I. Then you pay too much if you pay half taxes. Did you know that in Denmark the tax percentage is 53%? But also, I would rather pay too much tax and then get tax back than I would pay too little and have to pay once it comes around. No, in Denmark the taxes are 53%, and in Australia it is 45% for foreigners, keep in mind. so. Yeah, loves a bit of tax. Uh, it's called 53%. It is not that it's actually 53% of what you earned that month. That's not making any sense at all. But look, I don't want to talk about taxes at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's just going to give me a bad day. So <laughs> I don't want to think about how much money I have to give to the ATO. That's not how we start our mornings. She doesn't know about taxes. Oh, trust me, I know about taxes. Um, I also have a lot of accountants and a lot of lawyers. Don't you worry, I know about taxes. 
Hell of an upgrade. Look, it's not my kitchen. <laughs> I wish it was. I wish I would just be able to lie to you guys and go, yo, new crib, I'm balling. But it's not mine. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Where were you born? Denmark. Dinamarca. Uh, I'm going to say hi again. Hi. I love you. Lo hey, what's that? Look at that. That was so cute. This one is through. Hey, John, what, did you set that up? That's so cool. Hey, and I got your notification too. We love that. Thank you, Billy. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> And thank you for the follows, guys. I really appreciate it. Both on here and on Instagram. Help me get to one million. One million, baby. We're coming. You got great moves. You have no idea. No, I can't dance. But... Um, how did you come to making digital content? Um, so I've worked in marketing and studied marketing my whole life. So... It's quite normal to me. What adventures have you been on recent, recently? Um, I have just been camping. <laughs> I swear sometimes it's just like crickets in my brain and it's like um, What did it say? If you do, why did you say you pay 53% of what you earn when it doesn't work like that? Um, because I'm not going to take you through the entire tax process. Um, and you also don't know about my individual situation. It has a lot to do with personal income tax and corporate tax and all sorts of other things which I don't want to address with you right now. I'm just going to make it simple for you and say in Denmark the tax percent is 53% and in Australia it's 45%. Come at me. Chuck all your hate at me. It's fine. <laughs> um, do you own a ring light? I know Denmark is cloudy. I do have a ring light over in Denmark. All ready to go for me. So... Um, so you have to donate through Streamlabs. Is there a way to do it so it just goes through PayPal? When do you travel? Uh, next week. What do you think about Greece? I love Greece. Greece is lovely. You'll enjoy the travel. I'm sure I will. Can I marry you? No. I'm liking the new kitchen vibes. So do I. New vibes are good. Change is good. My stomach is growling because I haven't fed it yet. When are we going to have dinner? Well, we'll have breakfast first, so... One step at a time. I was like, I gotta sneeze. I'm telling you, cat allergies and living with a cat, not ideal. Yes, I am single. What is the stuff you just put in there? I just put chia seeds in it. Uh, it has more to do when what the word representation, taking donation, have different role sets than taking tips, but yeah, well, if the whole, whole recommend, I honestly don't understand what you're writing. Um, Look, regardless, as I said, I have very good accountants that I work with. Luckily, that was a lot of vanilla. Oh. Um, and I would rather pay too much in tax and claim too much of it and document too much than too little. You heard it here first, guys. Do your taxes. Properly. True. Maybe you didn't hear it here first. You could have heard it somewhere else too, but... How long will it take you to get to Denmark? It will take around 24 hours, I think. Do, 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 do. Do. 
Um. <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is breakfast, and then we'll have snacks. Snacks afterwards. Do you have any muscles? Yes. Otherwise, my body wouldn't be able to function. If it was just bones and fat, my body wouldn't work. You kind of need muscles to work. New home. Who it is? <laughs> um, this is my friend's place that I'm living with for the week. Can mods post links? I don't know. Give us a workout stream. <laughs> Do you ever wear makeup? Not really, to be honest. Um, I just, I honestly don't like it. It's not because I have this like thing that's like, oh, I'm not gonna wear makeup. It's like, it's not a statement or anything. I just don't think it looks pretty. Like I don't own foundation and contour and like, um, What's the thing you put on your eyelids? Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow? Eyeshadow. I like, I, like I don't own it. I just, I don't think it looks pretty on me. I've had friends of mine who are like good at putting on makeup, put makeup on my face. And I honestly felt like I looked like a clown. Like that's how bad it was. I was like, this is just not ideal. Um... Not 53% taxes in Denmark though. Honey, that depends how much you make too. <laughs> and as I said, I'm not here to debate taxes with you. I know my taxes. That's all that matters. Uh, eyeliner is sexy though. I used to wear eyeliner when I was like 18. Um, I don't have an eyeliner anymore. I went to Legoland in Billund. Oh, nice. We like Legoland. <laughs> um, what a wonderful woman. Thank you. Look, as I said, I am not debating any more tax stuff for today. I do not want to talk about taxes. a long flight it is a very long flight um, but you can't do it any faster so will it show your actual name on screen I think it shows your um, your PayPal name or maybe your username I don't know I have no idea don't listen to me I have no idea Favorite country you've ever been to? I really can't, um, I can't choose. I loved all of the countries, but for different reasons. Um, if you link your, your Twitch, Twitch name will show up. <laughs> you don't seem your bubbly self. Really? I am my bubbly self. Except for the guy who's wanna debate taxes. Other than that, I'm all good, darling. You can... Oh, true, he did actually send it to L. I saw that and I was like, who, who is L? You were running away from an argument you were wrong about. Look, I'm not here to debate with you. Trust me, I know my taxes. And I also have several accountants that also know their taxes. 
So I ain't running away from anything. I am just choosing not to get into a negative argument at 8.30 in the morning. Hush, hush now, child. I'm pleading for a workout stream. <laughs> We're not doing a workout stream. I will be working out today, though. Taxes are wild in Denmark, but not as wild as they are in Finland. Um. Oh, the real you comes out. I mean, all you get is the real me. But yes, taxes do frustrate me and I don't want to talk about them at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> I like to... Okay. Yes, I do get annoyed. I don't want to discuss taxes at 8.30 in the morning. So let's talk about something else, shall we? Finnish guy, here take my taxes. You pay even more taxes in Finland. I think... Uh, where are you going? I'm going to Denmark next week. You're different when being annoyed. How are you guys when you're being annoyed? <laughs> Your skin looks good, thank you. Shall I type taxes into banned words? Yes, please, that'd be great. <laughs> no tax talk on Nilla's stream, she just gets frustrated. Trust me, if you had to do as many tax returns as I did, you'd get annoyed too. It's a lot of work. It's not a new home, it's my friend's home that she has gracefully let me stream from while I live here for a couple of days. I like this new angle. I feel like the lighting is a bit off, but we might try over here next time because the lighting is better over there. But yeah, as I said, we're just trying it all out because it's all new setups. Um... Also, we are very close to reaching our YouTube goals, which is exciting. We now only have like 750 hours left. We live this close. Yours were more natural, so give it a whirl. What was more natural? Oh, oh. Um, what part of Denmark are you going to? I will be pretty much all over Denmark. I have family all over Denmark, so I'll be zigzagging between all the places. Name one item you can't live without. I mean, technically you can live without most things. You can live without most things. That's what they did back in the day, you know? So I don't know. I say water or air or something, but that's not really an item, is it? There's things that I don't want to live without, but not things that I physically can't live without. I would be really annoying to live without a bathroom. I went camping this weekend and like, I'm all for nature and stuff, but I do like a toilet. Um. That's the only time you're on here early, so don't get mad about it. I'm not mad about it. I'm just choosing what I want to discuss and what I don't want to discuss. Hope you're not far from home in case you forget your toothbrush. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll probably just get myself a new toothbrush then. Oh, that would be an annoying thing to live without too. T toothbrush. I do like to brush my teeth. Um, you're gorgeous. Thank you. A fridge is pretty important. I mean, in a warm country, yes. In a cold country, not that much. 
You know, in Greenland, they just kind of chucked the stuff outside and they were sweet. <laughs> I just scroll through for four flat earth lives. Are people still debating that subject? I feel like, like, there's just no point in discussing it. If you want to believe one thing, then believe it. But there's no point in trying to convince everybody else that you're right. Same to whatever username was over here. I forgot your name, but. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it and welcome. Can you squat a man? That depends of the weight of a man. I can squat a medium sized man. <laughs> Are you all moved out? Almost. I need to do some. Well, I'm all moved out, but I need to clean the house. So it's all nice and pretty for the new people. Um, what's the weather currently in Denmark? I would bet you that it's raining and overcast and gray, but I haven't checked. What about a medium sized woman? I'd be able to squat a medium sized woman too. Got a killer tan. I got, I got a pretty, pretty hectic sunburn this weekend. Don't forget sunscreen kids. I got a little bit day drunk and then I forgot about the hole in the ozone layer and got really burned. Um. <laughs> Can you do another video in the... What is that? <laughs> Especially in Australia, I know. It was not very smart of me. I did put sunscreen on, but I didn't reapply sunscreen, which was my own fault. Should have done better. Um, I want to see if... Ooh, oh, 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 does this work? No? Yes? Uh, I think. Cool. What happened to the other kitchen? It's gone. I have um, switched it out for a fancier kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to the new crib. Uh, uh, I'm not getting drunk, never works out for anyone. I didn't say I wasn't gonna get drunk. And I wasn't drunk drunk. Did you drink water lately? You seem dehydrated. What does that mean? Of course I drink water. Got two things going at the moment. What's your accent? My accent is um, Danish. Ooh, I got a parcel delivered. Oh, wait. Kabara. Don't leave. I'm here. I promise. I just got a message. <laughs> I got a parcel delivered. I don't know which thing arrived, but I'm very excited because that means we got one. We got one. <laughs> I hope it's the one I sent you. I don't know which one it is. I know there's a few on the way at the moment, so... Um, no, it's not the one from you, Vane. Sorry. Thank you for the roses. I appreciate that. Who is the most famous person from Denmark? Do you mean dead or alive? Can you lift a hundred kilos? Yes, yes I can. Do you do any cardio in the gym? Yes. Most days. It depends, like if I'm bulking I don't do that much cardio. Princess Mary. Princess Mary is in Denmark. She was actually Tasmanian, if I remember correctly. So, how many hours a day are you live? I am live for three hours every single day. It's a bit of a flex, not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you for the roses too. I appreciate that. Hey, Tassie. Hey, and the others here. Okay, maybe not every single day, but six days a week. I'm on here. I'm back again. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Mm. Uh, 
A good egg. Thank you. I like I like the saying a good egg. I'm like obviously before I moved to Australia I'd never heard that saying, but I I think it's a really nice thing to say about people. Can we see your abs? Yeah. Abs. Can you jump? Yes, I am capable of jumping. Is there a way to get your attention? You have my attention. For three hours, you will have all of my attention. And thank you so much for the followers on Instagram. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Billy. That is also a good way to get my attention. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We are closing in on 70k on Instagram. How excited are you? Where did you live in Denmark? I've lived in both Copenhagen and Aarhus and Sunderland. Do you work out a lot? Yes. Camera is too close. I know, but it zooms in. I don't know why. It's so annoying. Um. A good egg is a very English phrase. Yes. There was a lot of phrases I didn't know before moving. This one of the many joys of being a foreigner is just that you don't have... <laughs> most of the time you're like, excuse me, what? <laughs> What's that? I don't watch anime, no. I am from Brazil. I am from Denmark. I don't drink a lot, no. I am... Um, I try not to drink alcohol. I'm 28. How did you meet your girlfriends in your town? Like the ones I have now? Um, some I met out. Some I met through an app. Some I met at a like a um, like a breathwork event, and uh, some I met through work. You look younger. Thank you. Are you familiar with the expression "I I I"? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am single. How come you don't want a man? <laughs> I'm just very busy doing me right now. I work a lot, in case you haven't noticed me on here all the time. <laughs> I also work out a lot, and I eat a lot, and I, I'm, just, I'm very busy, and I just don't think I have the time for it right now. Does Aussies call McDonald's Maccas out there? Yes, yes they do. Maccas. Burger King is Hungry Jacks, also correct. Why are you single? The reason I just said, too busy baby. Too busy balling. Got some beef jerky as well. Where are you? Bulu, bulu, boru That's a Danish song. Um, I am in Australia, but I'm at my friend's place. Hence why I have a new background. Do you believe in pretty privilege? 100,000% I do. Um, and every anyone who says that that's not a thing is plain out lying. <laughs> I have experienced pretty privilege and um, get zero complaints. It's definitely a thing. Denmark looks like a beautiful country. Look, on the sunny days, it is a beautiful country. You have loads of Instagram followers. Are you endorsing any products on there? No, actually. <laughs> this is my Insta. How are you, mate? I'm good. Uh, in what way is priv pretty privilege a thing? In all the ways. Literally pretty much every single area of your life. 
has like an aspect of privilege in it if you are attractive. It works for males too. I sincerely believe that prettier people have it easier than less pretty people. I'm also pretty sure that this has been backed by a bunch of like research. Do you consider yourself a feminist? To an extent, yes. I think um, I think at one point feminism unfortunately becomes like hating men and I don't like that because I don't hate men I like feminism in the way that I want us to be equal but I don't want women to all of a sudden be above men you know I don't that's like where I draw the line where I think sometimes feminism can become like instead of all oh, we want to be equal men it, it becomes like oh we hate them you know it's like that's too much for me anyways personally Um, have you ever imagined how life would be as a pretty person? <laughs> that was a that was a pretty pretty good little subtle dig. I gotta admit that. <laughs> um, no, I've never. I'm just very happy and content with what I look like. Um, do you do cooking streams? Yes. I can't wait until May. I'll be visiting. That's nice. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie. So as I, like as I said, I get a lot of hate on here, right? And I get a lot of trolls. I get a lot of hate. All of that stuff. But like, it's usually the same. Like, it's stuff that I hear on and on and on again. So like, I'm used to it. That one was a new one and not gonna lie I kind of appreciate new <laughs> new digs that, that I can almost respect a little bit like people put some more effort into it <laughs> is it more hate from I don't know I don't know I try not to get into all of that stuff too much as I said like I'm just very focused on me hi How's it going? Are you in Denmark now? No, I'm in Australia. Oh, so thank you for tapping the screen. You're sending likes to my little channel. Do you enjoy this? Yes. Is it a fulfilling life? Yes. <laughs> I think like the fact that you just judge me based on these hours alone says more about you than it says about me. I can go into more detail about this if you want. Does cats like want the door open, but it's really loud, so it's just really annoying. Um, what did you and your siblings do together growing up? Uh, played sports, played Tekken, we went skiing. Look, I honestly don't remember a whole lot from my childhood, to be honest. Played a lot. I grew up with a lot of brothers, so I wasn't included in a lot of the things. Um, can you show us the kitty? But I can't touch it because I'll start like sneezing it's not just you who is focused on you I mean look at this stream but that's my job now okay so you're calling me a troll when I was just discussing a topic with you you were saying something you backed off of and now you're calling me a troll look I wasn't I wasn't even thinking of you I forgot about you half an hour ago I was saying it to this other man who said something about my cleavage um, uh, how many hours a day do you usually stream? Three hours. I feel like if you weren't as fit as you are, you'd probably get less hate, although it's just jealousy. I don't know. The looks attract the viewers and the brain makes them stay. I hope so. 
I've been thinking, there are 42 million kangaroos worldwide and we're only 5 million people in Norway and if they realize and decide to invade us, every person would have to fight 8 kangaroos each and I don't think we can do it. I agree and I appreciate that you've gone through this whole thought process. Please read my earlier message. Um, I can't, sorry. Everyone fights with siblings though. Bros, born with a four-year-old sister. I know two reasons why you have that many viewers. So do I. I, I love how some people assume that I don't know what I'm doing on here. <laughs> uh, you became rude when she wouldn't read your message. That's why you got timed out. Not enough magnets on your refrigerator. It's not my refrigerator, so I don't know. They're coming for Sense. Okay, that was a lot of comments. Sorry, guys. Kitty, do you want to go out or do you want to stay in? Because it's very noisy. What did I miss? I don't know. Guys, guys need to calm down. It's, it's, it's almost the weekend. Let's chill. I would like to go out with you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm gonna close the door because now it looks like the kid doesn't wanna go out anymore. It is so zoomed in. Why is it so zoomed in? Hello. Come back. Hi. That's a very close up of my face. Hello. stay like that right is it gonna stay is it gonna stay i hope so um what is your skin routine i don't have a very extensive skin routine to be honest i obviously clean my my face um and i shower <laughs> um but other than that i just moisturize look now the cat's coming out again it's like every time I close the door, it's like, mm, now I want to go out. You seem confident. <laughs> I am pretty confident. Most days. Some days I'm not very confident. Can you do that again? <laughs> no. Um... Is that server error? What? I will marry you. I don't think so, but I mean, you can try. And thank you so much for the follows on Instagram. We are almost halfway to our goal today. What do you like? Why do you like Australia better than Denmark? Weather, nature, culture, money, taxes, uh, security, everything, everything. Everything except traditions. I do feel like Den Denmark has good traditions. I like our traditions. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm five foot five. Or 165 centimeters tall, which is like a little, I think it's a little, little over average female height. Uh, I hope I can see Australia one day. I hope you can too. Australia is amazing and everyone deserves to go here at least once. I'm five foot five. Hey, we're the same height then, Lauren. Perfect, perfect match. <laughs> um, but I just realized, I think that's why I didn't stream from this side, is because there's only the plugs on the other side of the, of, of the um, kitchen counter. I wish I could mute girl. 
I mean, if you want to be a moderator on TikTok, you can. It's just, it's, that's a lot because there's so many comments and they go so quickly. But if you want to be a moderator on TikTok, I'll be more than happy to add you, Lauren. I love having female moderators. I also love the male moderators. I'm not, but I'm just saying it's nice to have both. Can you speak Danish? Yes, I speak fluent Danish. Danish is my first language. Have you done a big lab of Australia? I've been everywhere from Melbourne to Cairns in Australia. Thank you. <laughs> Do you enjoy cooking? I mean, I enjoy cooking when I cook for other people. Not so much when it's just for myself, to be honest. I don't know, I'm a pleaser, you know? So basically, 10% pretty much, yeah. But it was a great 10%, I loved it. When did you start learning English? I started learning English when I was six, I think, five or six. The cat is just staring at me. It's a bit scary. Um, what's an unknown Danish tradition? I don't know how much it's unknown, but like, like we have a lot of Christmas traditions, which are really cute, where we like dance around a house and stuff, and we dance around a tree, which is very, very, very weird for other people, because you guys apparently don't do that on Christmas Eve, but we actually like hold hands and we chained around a tree. It looks really stupid, but it's a really cute tradition. Um... How often do you get compliments that you are a well-endowed woman? A fair few times. So would you consider English and Danish on level as your first language or not? Yes. In some areas I would almost say that my English is better than Danish. But keep in mind, I have spent my entire 20s in, in, in English. You know, so I feel like because of all the knowledge that I have gathered in my 20s, I've learned that in English, I now don't have that knowledge in Danish. So like there's a lot of, a lot of words that I now know in English where I'm like, I actually don't know what that is in Danish, which is strange, but yeah. I like women who cooks food. I like men who cook food. <laughs> so, there's that. Is English the most spoken language or is it still Mandarin? I'm pretty sure it's still Mandarin. I like food. <laughs> I like food too. Food's good. Food makes me happy. Uh, I can boil water. That is also an achievement. I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, and thank you so much for everyone following me on Instagram. It's much appreciated. We're closing in on, on 70k. 70k! Were you one of these surfing hippie chicks in your 20s? Nope. No, no. I was a... Um, a, uh, a ski bum, a ski bum, when I was in my 20s. Congrats, thank you. Would you convert into a man's religion if you really loved him? No, I don't think so. Um, you can't, like, I, unless I would actually sincerely myself change my belief system and actually believe in his religion then yes but i wouldn't change my religion just because of a man thank you so much van i really appreciate that i can microwave a burrito that is also an achievement uh, when i was in my 20s i'm still in my 20s i know i know but i'm nearing the end of them <laughs> Um, I'm making steak and potatoes, that's nice. Topics is religion. No, it was just somebody asked a question about religion and I answered it. Because I always answer your questions. For a bit. 
Except if I don't want to, then I don't. Um, hey. Why did you move away from the Denmark? Um, look, to be honest, the reason I moved originally was because I wanted to live out my brother's dream of traveling the world and becoming a ski instructor. Uh, I can teach you some cooking skills. I'm sure you can, darling. I'm sure you can. Was your YouTube short about your new view? Yes, it is the view from the, the balcony over here. What about your dream? Look, honestly, and this is just to be real with you, I didn't even consider what my dreams were or anything until I was kind of done living his dream. I was very um, focused on, on him for most of my life. Um, I can't... Unless it's a comment from me, then you desperately ignore it. I'm not purposely ignoring anyone. I try to attend to everyone's comments. But there is a lot of comments. Please keep in mind I'm streaming on multiple platforms. So, um... It's a lot. Attention is the reason to leave Denmark. I get it. Look, definitely not gonna lie. So, like, I left Denmark back when I was 20, right? And I didn't start social media until last year. So for my first seven years, I didn't do anything for the attention. Um, but now that I am working with social media and I do rely on attention, I can definitely attest to the fact that Denmark is not the country to be in to get that because there's so much judgment in Denmark. Mm. Hardest part about getting older. Look, honestly, the only thing I would say is hard about getting older, um, for me personally, is the fact that I can see my appearance changing. I think especially as a woman as well, because there is so much focus on like our value as a woman is determined by our appearance and our beauty. So like seeing that kind of, I wouldn't even say fade, but change, you know, like I'm obviously changing, I'm getting wrinkles, I'm getting older, gravity is doing its thing, you know, like all of these things is definitely, yeah, a little hard sometimes, you know, but it's part of the, it's part of it. <laughs> You look great, thank you. It's just, um, and I'm not saying I don't look great. Like I'm, I'm very, very happy with what I look like. But it is just, an, it's, it's just interesting to see your appearance like change like that. And you wake up and there's new wrinkles that you didn't know <laughs> even could exist and, and stuff like that. You know. Also, I found blackberries yesterday, so I'm very happy about that. It's a good day when Miller finds blackberries. So we got, whoop, big fridge. We got strawberries and we got blackberries and we got blueberries. Did you change your house today? I did, yes. <laughs> My friend so gracefully let me stream from her house. Oh, 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 we're almost halfway there, guys, on, on the gram. So thank you for the follows. Um, yeah, we have a hundred and... 60 to go. Do you eat oats? Yes, that's actually what this is. It's overnight oats. Mm, just age with dignity. I will age however I want to age, thank you very much. Then you can age however you want to age. Lucky partner. I don't have a partner. So lucky me. I get to live with me every single day. It's a lot of fun. Me and me have a great time together. I'm from Peru. I would like to teach you how to cook. I did actually like Peruvian food. It was very good. There's a lot of fish, which I thought was strange, but I liked it. Um, 
I will age however I will age. It's really not um, up to anyone to decide. I wonder what it would be to, to live a day with you, Nilla. Look, it's honestly not super exciting. <laughs> I stream. I do this, obviously. Then I work a whole lot and then I work out. I read a lot. Do we get something something? I don't know what that is. Thank you. If you are new here, I'd very much appreciate a follow on my Instagram. I've written it out for you here. Otherwise, it's the same name as I have on here, or there's a link in my bio. I think the cat thought I was giving it something. She apparently doesn't have any suggestions for you. Look, I do get a little bit frustrated when you guys are coming for me about not answering. Like, I'm really trying my absolute best to attend to all of you. It's just going really fast. Those blackberries are tasty, they are. There is a lot of people on here and I am really trying my absolute hardest for all of you guys, okay? It's not intentionally, so please don't hate on me. I'm trying. Who is inspiring you the most? Look, honestly, it's still my brother. My brother and the time that I had with him, um, the first 13 years of my life made such a huge impact on me that he has inspired me ever since. You do know people can wash their clothes and rewear them. Yes, and I do this once a week, guys. I'm not the type to buy new clothes very often. <laughs> Actually, most of the clothes I have, I have had since 2010. So, pretty happy that I can still fit it, to be honest. Um... What's for dinner? This is breakfast. I would be too. Come this is. You are beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. If you're new here, I would very much also appreciate a follow. Are you reading any good books currently? Well, I just read a little one this morning, which was actually really beautiful. But other than that, I'm currently reading um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a... <laughs> If I were to learn a new language, what do you think I should try? Uh, Spanish. Or Chinese. Chinese would be cool. This is breakfast. Thank you. New house. This is my friend's house. She clearly lives in a little bit. Ah! Oh my god, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> We're making stains in the house already. <laughs> um. Is there a classic Danish book? I actually don't read a whole lot of Danish, to be honest. I read all my books in English. I feel like it's better for my vocabulary and for my brain and everything. I'm not in Denmark, no. I am still in Australia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sp 
speak Danish, what would you like me to say in Danish? Are we halfway? We're halfway. Woo! Did you soak the oatmeal in water? In milk? Oat milk. Say the biggest word in Danish. What do you mean? <laughs> it is a healthy breakfast, kind of ish. Yeah. It's just a good source of fiber. I feel like I have really good energy throughout the day if I start my um, start my day out with oats and berries. I probably eat a little bit too many berries to be honest, but hey. You need some fun in your life. Fiber is key. Fiber is key. <sighs> what do you miss most about your brother? I think just his perspective on life, you know? I don't know how many of you have ever had... Um, have ever had someone in your life who was like terminally ill or in a very bad, negative situation, life-wise, health-wise? Um, but like people who is in situations like this in their lives just have completely different perspectives on everything. And it's extremely uplifting and inspiring to be around. Because like you can sit like as a normal healthy person and have your own little worries and 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 things and you can sit there and be negative and complain and and think oh poor me blah 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 and then you meet someone who has everything going against them who literally know that they're running out of time and don't and won't get to stay here on earth with the rest of us and they just have such a beautiful mindset and they can be positive and happy and still give to other people and not be sad about it like being around people like that touches me so much really moves me so yeah that that i miss the most and his laugh he had a good laugh my brother had a terminal lung disease um, that he was really, yeah, he was born with it, it was genetic. And yeah, um, he was on the organ donor list to get new lungs, but it never came when he passed away. Um, that energy can be so inspirational. It is. And um, he, to this day, still inspires me. I have cystic fibrosis. I'm very sorry. That's what my brother had too. Um, but there's like there's different degrees of cystic fibrosis. Like there's different levels, and my brother had like the worst one. So, where would the extra lungs come from? Organ donors. You can choose to be an organ donor, so that if you pass away, then people can like other people can use your don your organs. I am an organ donor. I always preach that I think people should decide whether or not they want to be organ donors. If you've never considered it, I heavily suggest that you suggest that you consider whether or not you want to be an organ donor. I don't I'm not saying that you should be. I'm just saying that you should decide. And if you don't mind people using your organs, then you should tell your family and you should tell your doctors and get a little donor card so people know in case something were to happen to you. <sighs> do you think about him a lot? Yes, yes I do. But like where is the first 
many years it was in a very sad and negative way i now think about him in a very happy and uplifting way but yes heavily 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 support organ donation <laughs> um and recommend everyone to decide um i would love that if i died that at least one of my organs would get a new body exactly and you hear about these really beautiful stories about someone unfortunately passing away because of an accident or something but that person ended up saving seven people's lives with his organs you know and i think that's beautiful what a way to go you know so if you don't think that like you need your organs wherever we're going after we pass away, then I don't see why you wouldn't want someone else to continue living because of you. Like you literally get to save other people. And I think that's cool. But that's just me. Stupid question, but as an organ donor, how does that work? I'm guessing it's once you pass away and not whilst you're alive. That is correct. So it's a bit of a tricky situation. <laughs> this one is still zooming. So let me just see if I can turn that off. Mm, there. I just feel like people are going to think I'm doing the loser sign, which I'm not. I'm sorry. Um, it's not a stupid question, to be honest. There's a certain way that you have to die in order for you to, for, for them to use your, um, your organs and they do kind of have to keep you superficially alive because your organs still need to have blood and whatnot going through them but it is when they can see that there is no more brain activity and therefore can fully declare that you're not there anymore that they can then talk to your family about it and be like okay these guys are not with us anymore but their bodies are still working what were their decision? Did they want to be organ donors or did they not want to be organ donors? And then if they did, they're, they're then gonna use them. But obviously, yes, you are technically not there anymore. <clears throat> I think organ don donation is beautiful. Um... Is there an in international organ donor thing or are they always national? As far as I've seen, it's always national, but I just make sure to, um, to have it like in my wallet and stuff. Um, he sounds something you love by Louis Capaldi is about the, da, 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 da. there are certain organs you can donate while still being alive, lungs for example. Yes. Thinking about it now, it's really a noble thing to do. I might look into organ donation properly I would very much appreciate that I'm a big, big advocate for it like I fully understand if people don't want to be an organ donor because like for personal reasons a lot of people are like oh I need these wherever I go or like for religious reasons it's also like I completely understand not wanting to be an organ donor what frustrates me most is that a lot of people actually would be organ donors but simply just don't decide you know and then a person who was like oh yeah definitely would have been an organ donor don't tell the families haven't told the doctors don't have the card and then something happens and those organs are wasted you know when they could have saved lives like my brothers so yeah this zoom button needs to stop did what happened to your brother make it easier for you to decide did you want to be an organ donor? Yes, very much so. My, my thought process is that I'm dead and I don't need them anymore, so why not donate? Yes. But like, it's also okay that other people don't share that thought process, you know? Like, I'm not here to judge that. I just want people to decide. <laughs> the Zoom is giving. It's a bit frustrating, to be honest, but yeah, yeah. That was all I had to say about organ donation. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to be really into it. And I would like go around schools and put up posters and stuff. Yeah. Um, another stupid question, but do you select which organ to donate? 
Yes, you can actually. You can tick like whether or not you are okay with them taking your eyes, your skin, your heart, your lung, your like everything. You get to choose. It really shows that you have a very good heart. Um, I do think that in general people who choose to be organ donors have good hearts, yeah. But as I said, I also don't judge people who for, for example, religious reasons or just simply don't want to be as well. I'm gonna jump off here. That's alright Dylan, you have a good day. You seem very happy. I am very happy. <laughs> um, thank you. And thank you so much for the followers on Instagram too. Too. I really appreciate it. And on TikTok. We're on 743. Closing in on that 750, baby. Um... I think it should be automatic that you're a donor unless you specifically disagree to it. I was actually discussing this back in the day as well, because I would really want it to be that as soon as you turn 18, you get a letter from the government saying, do you wish to be an organ donor? And then just a simple yes or no, like forcing people to decide. Like, I don't see how that would hurt anyone because like you can still, you can say no, but just decide, you know, but that law didn't get passed, unfortunately, so. <sighs> I can't listen to this. It hurts me too much. That's all right. I am just advocating for organ donation. And um, I think that's a positive thing, if anything, because more people should be organ donors. Um, a very nice kitchen. It's not mine. I wish it was. Um. <laughs> Agree, but when will you next be making bacon and eggs? That is a good question, Lauren. See, I had bacon and eggs yesterday, so today we're eating a bit healthier. A lot of berries there. If I have watched Seinfeld, no, not really, to be honest. I don't really watch TV. Like, I don't have a TV, so. If you don't mind me asking, did you select which organs to donate or just all? I selected everything. I was like, go for gold. Whatever you want, you can have. Um, so, yeah. Just relax and enjoy life. Oh, I am, baby. I am. Well, at least you got a smartphone. That counts. <laughs> I do have a smartphone. Fair play. <laughs> but like each to their own, you know? But I do definitely recommend deciding. And talking to your friends and family about it too and go, oh, are you guys, you know? Like, talk to your mom, talk to your dad, sisters, kids even. I think it's an important discussion to have with people. Um, you're so cute, have a nice day. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget to drop a follow before you go. We got goals to reach, baby, goals. Goals. You got fruits as breakfast. Fruits and oats, baby. Fruits and oats. That's why I'm so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Flex abs. They're gonna disappear soon because of meeting. That was weird, but okay. I don't have any kids now. I also don't have any pets. 
or a new husband. Someone subscribe, thank you. Uh, my name is Swedish, but I'm not Swedish, I'm Danish. I'm definitely not perfect. I'm a work in progress, but we're getting there. Hi. Imagine if you could donate abs, that would be wild. <laughs> Just dropped in to say hello. Hello, welcome. Don't leave, stick around, have a chat. Um, you're absolutely stunning. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for supporting both on here, but also on Instagram. I appreciate it. My little channel's growing. We're almost two thirds to our goal. If you haven't yet, I have written out my Instagram for you here. It's the same name as I have on this channel. Or there's a link in my bio. Age, I'm 28. 28. <laughs> What's Easter? I actually don't know when Easter is. I'm not in, <laughs> into holidays at all. But I think it's soon. It's in April, right? Your eyes are so different. I got very big, round, brown eyes. <laughs> How many days a week do you train? Six. Six days a week, usually. Thank you for joining my stream. We do have a couple of streams left before I, before I go. And thank you for the roses on TikTok. You guys have been very nice to, to me today. We have 110 to go on, on the gram, guys. 110. Amazing. Beautiful. Mwah. Chef's kisses. Have you voted in recent Danish elections? No, because I don't live in Denmark. So I'm... I'm not able to. Maybe I would actually be able to, but I don't think it's fair considering I don't live there. So. What's in your pantry? Look, it's not my pantry, but like this is just cups. <laughs> this is a very nice kitchen though. One day when I grow up, I would like to have a kitchen like this. <laughs> when I become a big girl. Did you laser your eyes? I actually did, yeah. I was, um, I was pretty blind when I was a kid. And um, we just lasered them down so I wasn't blind anymore. How wild is that? That you can just like zip and then you can see. I knew it. How did you know that? Yes, I do work out. I'm a glasses girl. Look, not gonna lie, ever since I've like grown up, I, I kind of think glasses are cute. <laughs> but I didn't really like them when I was a kid. And like contact lenses and all of that stuff. Quick flex, they're not so big at the moment. <laughs> Can you dab? No. I feel like it should be illegal for a person over 25 to do a dab. I do look cute in, in, in glasses, not gonna lie. It's a bit of a flex. Congrats on a new place. It's actually not my place, it's my friend's place, but one day guys, one day I'll have a nice place, I promise you.
I didn't pack my glasses actually, but I do have them. <laughs> it should be illegal for anyone to dab at any age. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yay! A subscribe. Thank you. We haven't even had a hype train today. Sad. I knew it just by the pupils. Yeah. You reckon your pupils actually change when you get LASIK? I don't think so. What is a dab? I'm not going to show you. I mean, you can kind of see it. You can see the top four. The lower two are just like, nah, we're not doing it, guys. We're hibernating. I don't have a boyfriend, no. Hence why I got abs, because I have so much time to work on myself. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 28, guys. 28. <laughs> Your face is very beautiful. Thank you. I do have an online Lauren, that is true. That is correct. Can I leave my number in case you come to Canada? I'm actually planning a trip to Canada because one of my best friends just got a house over there and she invited me over. So I'm very excited for that. You can't be 28. Let me go home and tell my mom that and be like, yo, mother. You must have left me. Someone online said you can't possibly have given birth to me in 1994. <laughs> I'm sure she'll she'll laugh at that. I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it if she was like, "Oh, you were actually born in '96." Haha. <laughs> Whoops, I was drunk. Do you get hit on at the gym? No. <laughs> Keep in mind that I usually wear really, really, eh, outfits to the gym, which is probably why. Hello, how's it going? Dang, I was a junior in college in 94. Hmm? I'm doing good, how are you doing? And thank you for the roses. Is that a crop top or just a really small shirt? It's a crop top. Can you shout out me? Me! There you go. Are the cupboards the push to open? No, you just open them. <laughs> Lol. I thought that was pretty funny. I was hoping somebody else was done that. I think that was funny. Uh, I bet your DMs are full of people trying to date you. A few. Not gonna lie. A few have tried. And I... Look, I appreciate that they try. That shit was corny. I love corny though. I'm, I'm all about corny jokes. Mm, what are you doing right now? I am streaming from my kitchen. I just had my breakfast. I'm finishing up my berries. Then we're gonna have some beef jerky. And then... Who knows? The world's my oyster, really. Never been a big fan of oysters. Do you like, do you guys like oysters? No, I'm not a vegetarian. That I am not. I did try in my defense for a while. Oh, we're so close guys. We're two thirds to our goal, I think, on Instagram. Ish. If it would update. Update. 
You're gorgeous in case you have not heard it yet. Thank you. My Instagram is the same name as I have on here or there's a link in my bio. But it's just Penelope Morrison. I do pay close uh, attention to my follower account because it's... Um, I have daily goals in regards to my work, which is obviously social media. Um, and that's a really good way for me to stay motivated because I love having goals and targets and KPIs really. So, yeah. I do pay close attention to it. Yay! Thank you for the subs. What does your ideal day look like? I wake up. I see the sunrise, get some content, I uh, get my coffee, I meditate for 10 minutes, go home, I work, I eat, I go to the gym, I shop, I eat, I read, I sleep. And that's my day every day and it's my ideal day and I love it. I am extremely blessed to get to have the lifestyle that I have. I do love staying alone, yes. And at that a bit you a good night. Thank you, Lauren. I hope you have a great sleep. Thank you for joining in today. I appreciate you. And thank you for the followers on Instagram. I appreciate every single one of you following. Uh, are you keen on visiting the Netherlands in the future? I have been to the Netherlands multiple times because I have a lot of friends from the Netherlands. I love the Netherlands. Lekker lekker. Uh, do you not ever get bored of being on your own? Look, I do have friends, don't get me wrong. Like I'm staying with a friend right now and I saw a friend yesterday and I'm seeing a friend tonight. So like I have friends that I can go hang out if I get lonely. I just usually don't really. It's very rare that I get bored by myself. I'm very good at doing things with myself, you know, like I'll take myself to the cinema or myself for, di for dinner or myself to a concert, you know, I don't mind that at all. You shop, you eat, you read. Yes. <laughs> My gym shit sessions is around two hours. Which is usually one hour of weights and then one hour of cardio. Cardio. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm a full-time content creator. I do this for a living. Which is really cool. I love it. We are closing in on 745k on TikTok. Tickety top. It would be fun to do more polls and chat. Yes, I know. I need to do I just need to be better at doing fun things. <laughs> but I there is as I said, like I start traveling next week, so there's a lot more fun things coming because there's a lot of different sceneries and stuff. You know? You know, you know. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Thank you for the follows, guys. I appreciate you all. I'm very excited to getting to 70. I feel like I'm, then, I'm very close to 100. <laughs> you are the most beautiful lady. Thank you. Before the era of content creator, what did you do for a career? I've only been a content creator for a year now. Um, before that, I was in marketing. I worked as a marketing manager for an IT company. And um, I also had my own marketing agency. And before that, I was a ski and snow instructor. How do you sneeze so cute? 
Maar ze zou het niet. Where does all your love come from? Um, I try to always stay in a in a sense of like gratitude. Lots of different reasons. Um, obviously, my brother passing away and not getting to live life. For me, I always kind of fall back on like I get to be here. You know, I'm so grateful that I even get to be alive. You know, not everyone got that chance, and I had that kind of like drilled into me from a very young age. Um, then I also had a lot of trauma when I was younger and in general, like changing your life situation and going from really struggling and having a hard time to not struggling anymore is also just such a like grateful thing, you know, and like I can constantly compare compared to a time where I was worse off. So like regardless of the day or if I'm having a bad day, I'm always just really grateful because I've come so far. And I think if you're constantly in this like state of mind with gratitude, then it's easy to always be positive. Mm -hmm. My accent is from Denmark. Any 4x4 adventures lately? I did go away this weekend. There will be a YouTube video coming up on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you definitely should. Um, yeah. <laughs> and also watch some of my other camping videos on YouTube because I'm very close to my 4,000 watch hours, which I'm excited about. <laughs> This might be a stupid question, but was your brother's illness hereditary? Yes, yes it was. <laughs> Some of your 4x4 driving was quite crazy actually. I thought so too. There was a hot minute there where I thought I might not survive that. <laughs> Favorite genre of books to read would be self-development. Yeah, we're closing in guys. We have 78 to go on Instagram. What types of films and series do you like and what is your favorite film to watch on a love night? <laughs> what is a love night? I don't think I've ever had a love night. Um, I don't watch a lot of movies anymore. I do really like watching Rick and Morty though, if I have to watch a TV show. <laughs> Thank you. Those books work for you. I love books. I read a lot. Um, like my minimum goal is to read one book a month, but pretty sure this month I've read three. Yeah. You must have a love night with own self there. No? Mm -hmm. Favorite books um, is Atomic Habits. I loved Atomic Habits. Very good book. Try and speak Danish. Jai, Elska, bye. That means I love you in Danish. What is it about? It's about small habits. And how it's like, you know, instead of focusing on like the whole trip, you just gotta focus on like the first step and just create little small tiny steps. And I like it. It, it was just, it was life changing for me, honestly. 
Do you use an ice, ice bath every day to start the day good off? I do take cold showers, but I don't have a bath. So no, I don't do ice baths. I'm eating beef jerky. <laughs> it's actually called biltong, but... I looked it up, it looks good. It is a very good book. And thank you for the followers, guys. If you are new here, please head on over and follow the Instagram as well. Have you ever been to Turkey? I have. I actually went paragliding in Turkey. Come to Germany. Well, I'm going to Denmark next week, so that's pretty damn close to Germany. Depends where in Germany, though, but yeah. Germany's pretty underrated, I reckon, as a country. <sighs> Come to Holland. Oh, also been to Holland. I didn't even do that and I live in Turkey. <laughs> How come you only speak English? So all of my, not all of my fans, but a large portion of my fans are all over the world and not just in Denmark. So if I spoke in Danish, 90% of my stream watchers wouldn't be able to understand what I was saying. And that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follows, guys. I really appreciate it. Help me get to 67.3.3. Have you heard of the book The Alchemist? Yes, I have read that one. It's a good book. Come to Canada. I will come to Canada. I need to go visit my friend. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I don't live in Denmark anymore. I live in Australia and here I live at a place called Gold Coast. Yes, the plan is to get to 1 million on TikTok, but um small steps. Hence why we read Atomic Habits because that teaches you not to focus on getting the big goal, but getting on tiny little goals every day. And I make tiny little goals every day on my socials. No. Do you personally know famous people? No. <laughs> no famous people. Have you ever made a snowman? Yes, I made many snowmen. Hey, someone subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Is your entire family living in Denmark? Yes, all of them. I'm eating beef jerky, also called Biltom. Does this not bore you? No. I mean, I obviously have, have bad streams where I'm like a bit off it, but usually not. I don't enjoy horror movies now. I get like really scared. No more crows. I mean, there is crows here, but they don't usually fly up this high. How long has it been since you've seen your family? One year. One year. Wild. My anaconda don't want some unless you got bumps, huh? <laughs> Sorry. I swear I see a word and I'm like, <laughs> Is there any kangaroo saluting you? No. That'd be cool if there was there. Of course I care. What do you think about China being in control of TikTok? Look, I honestly couldn't care less about who's in control of TikTok. I'm not doing anything that 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 nobody can see. I'm not I'm not I'm not worried. 
But then again, I'm not into politics or army stuff or any of that stuff. If they want to stalk my phone, they can stalk my phone. Ever been to prison? No. I do have a criminal record though. Naughty, naughty. Hey, thank you for the subscribe. How many do you get from one video from TikTok alone? How many what, sorry? Have you seen a real anaconda? No, I actually haven't. Not in real life. Love you. How tall are you in inches? I have no idea. Do you invest in Bitcoin? I did back when it was older hype. Why did you get a criminal record? Because I went into a nightclub with my friend's ID. I know. It was literally to get the... <laughs> the cutest way to get a... Well, not the cutest way, but the smallest little thing. But yeah. How tall are you in centimeters? 165. What is your view on cryptocurrencies and the stock market at the moment? Um, look, I honestly haven't put too much attention into it because I get depressed. <laughs> um, I, I have invested over the last past couple of years, but the market's just not really going anywhere right now. If anything, I think it... Uh, hold. Hold, but um, yeah. Hopefully it will, if we go into a recession soon, then that will always obviously be a great time to invest. What do you think about, I don't know. We are in a recession. That depends what country you're in. Not all countries are in a recession right now. I have something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Do you think we'll go into a recession? That's what all the smart people are saying. I don't know. I'm not a financial expert. Do you also work outside of social media? No, my entire job is social media now. If you aren't satisfied in your country, come and see our situation. A recession is a state of mind. <laughs> um, thank you so much for the bits, do you what? I appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's following my Instagram as well. We are very close to reaching our daily goal. We love, we love, we love and appreciate. Abs check. As you see, if I get the lighting right, you can kind of see them, but otherwise you can't. But they are there, I promise. They're just hiding. <laughs> we have we have sixty-eight to go. Sixty-eight. Mm. <laughs> mm, we also need to make lunch today. What are we making for lunch, guys? Oh, no snacks. I need more snacks. Snacks. I'm from Denmark. How do bits help a Twitch creator? Bits is um, bits is money. It's a donation to me as a content creator. Then you support my channels, and then I can keep doing this for a living. Um. Okay. Okay. Maybe your new kitchen brings you luck. You'd hope so, but it's not mine. I'm only here for like a week. So. <laughs> Kaisers, Kaisers Mar is a good option. Kaisers Mann in German, Austria is like little pancakes with sugar on them. And oh, I used to love those when I was a kid. 
I was a little chunky when I was a kid, not gonna lie. Um, how old are you? I'm 28. What kind of live is this? It's a good live. It's a positive live. It's a little happy live. Helping me reach my daily goals. It's a good time. Hi. Show a photo from your youth. I showed it before. Guys, I've showed it before. It's not pretty. I think, is it on this phone? I forget if it's on this phone. But I'll show you. People don't believe what I look like when I was a kid. That's me. I know. A glow up, one could call it. One could definitely call it that. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yes, I wasn't very fortunate when I was a child, but um, not all of us were, okay? Some of us needed time. I'm like a fine wine, baby. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. You were cute. I mean, I was something. It's okay. It's okay. You can say it. <laughs> I wasn't the luckiest kid, but um, but hey, at least it wasn't the other way around, you know. So, hence why I wasn't very popular when I was a kid. I got bullied a lot. But I was I was a very strange kid. I had a lot of stuff going on in my life, so. You were what, eight there? No, I was actually, um, pretty sure I was 12 on that photo. <laughs> That's a white kitchen, it is a white kitchen. I bet those bullies now regret. The funny thing is, right, so like all of my childhood bullies, actually follow me on Instagram now and I'm like what are you doing here <laughs> you were so mean to me for so many years and now you're following my Instagram <laughs> like I'm not and I'm not mad about it I'm just like yeah, it's just very interesting um, no I'm not married Beautiful kitchen, thank you. I wish I could claim it as mine, but it's not. But it is where I will be streaming for the next week. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for the followers, guys. Both on here and on Instagram. We now only have 55 left. Fun, 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 sick. I never bullied anyone, was always the one helping, but that's very nice. I'm happy to hear that. We don't condone bullying ever. Looking damn fine, thank you. What is your opinion on a penthouse? I don't really have an opinion on it. It looks nice. Uh, I've seen it the other way and some people have to grow into their looks. Yes, well I certainly grew into mine. I even just, I got sent a video of me when I was 24 and even there I was like, that is not, 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 not nice. <laughs> um, yeah, a big glow up in my, in my later 20s actually. I think it also obviously comes with like, learning how to love yourself and being confident in who you are because that comes through your appearance too you know it, like your appearance kind of reflects your inner state which i like where do you live now i live in australia do you have plans for the weekend believe it or not your girl is going out i am gonna be social for a change probably just for a couple of hours but still it counts i'm going out what meanings do the tattoos you have to you? What meanings does the tattoos you have have for you? 
I have a tattoo for my brother. Then I have a tattoo for my grandmother. The two most important people in my life who unfortunately has passed away. Then I have a tattoo for my family. Then I have one, two, three, three tattoos, four tattoos for friends. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Going dancing, I will try. <laughs> That's just gonna be me the whole weekend. Um, yeah, no, I won't be putting on makeup. At what point did you become attractive? It's been like a steady progress over the last four years, I'd say. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. You are very kind. I think that's also been funny about this whole like social media journey because obviously as much as I know you shouldn't get um, validated online, um, it did actually change a lot for me when I blew up on the internet because I was like, I don't really think I had that much confidence back then and I didn't really fully believe that I actually was that attractive until I blew up on TikTok and everyone was like, oh my god, you're gorgeous and I was like, Really? Me? You sure? <laughs> and then this last year in social media has kind of just been like me really coming into it and fully embracing that I am gorgeous to some people. Going out with the people from the camping trip, I am, yes. No, I'm not wearing makeup. We don't wear makeup here. TikTok. You, um, you should do socials. My TikTok is in my social media. Uh, in my link tree. In the link in the tree. Link in the tree. The tree link. Um, it is a beautiful country. You blew up online. Kim Kardashian blew up online. You certainly did not. That's all relative, like it depends who you're comparing it to. No, I didn't blow up to thousands of millions, but I did have one of my videos go up to 7 million views. So 7 million people watching one of your videos is still a fair amount of people. And for me, that certainly was blowing up. And the funny thing is, because the bikini I was wearing in that video that 7 million people watched, um, actually sold out. And I was like, hey, hey I did that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, yeah. That was what I was referring to. Yeah, one video, not all the time. No, but that's what I'm saying. I did blow up that one time. I had, I think I had three fairly large videos. Um, blow up all around at the same time. So, so yeah. But I'm just saying, it was just really interesting to like have that kind of interest all of a sudden when you've gone from nothing at all to all of a sudden having like quite literally millions of people talking about you and your appearance. It's, it's a very, very strange thing, concept and thing to experience as a human being, I think. You know? Like... I don't know if you guys could, could, could imagine that, but if you just one day literally went from, from no contact with anyone at all and not having any sort of thing like that at all, to the next day just having like millions of people saying things about your appearance like it's it's, it's just strange i just wasn't prepared <laughs> one could say um but yes but yes that was that was all i had to say about that it was just an interesting uh, experience and it definitely changed me as a human being
Six people looked at me weird at a park one time, that was too much attention for me. Look, I feel ya, had this been in real life, it would have been very different for me too. Yes, I am on Twitter. I'm on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, all of them. You can find all of my social media channels in my link tree. Uh, there's a Japanese girl streamer who only streams houseworks. Yeah, I don't like doing housework, so I wouldn't do that. You are well handling the change though. I have slowly become, gotten accustomed to it, I'd say. I actually really struggled with it in the beginning and I would be very like, I'd be very emotional about it because obviously with all of that attention comes a lot of hate too. And back in the day, I was just very, very sensitive, especially to hate. Um. <laughs> yes, yes, I am single. Thank you for the follows, guys. How much would you cost for a lifestyle session, like a personal lifestyle tr training? I don't do any of that sort. I obviously try to keep my streams very positive and uplifting and inspiring for anyone who, who wants to adapt a similar mindset towards life as I have, but I don't do any personal one-on-one -on -one things. You look good, thank you. <laughs> I will not be marrying anyone, sorry. You are the angel. I am certainly no angel, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, we only got, I think we only got 50 left, guys. Hey, thank you, Ben. Stream quality looks great today. Like, which one? Are we talking on Twitch? I think, I honestly think it's because of my friend's Wi-Fi. I think she has way better Wi-Fi than I do. <laughs> um, so there you go. Ooh. Um, how many crocodiles have you met so far in Austria? Not a lot in Austria, um, but actually not anyone in Australia either. The way I see it is that they have to watch you to hate you and them watching gets you views, so they're actually helping. 100% they are, but um, that doesn't mean that it can't affect you mentally. Oh, Twitch, it looks way sharper. That's so interesting. <laughs> I honestly think it has a lot to do with the lighting too. Um, my house is just a very dark house. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is just a better house. What can I say? I should have moved in here a long time ago. <laughs> Thanks for the conversation. You are very welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here every day. I appreciate all of you so much you literally you fill me up with gratitude every day lowest age i would go for in a guy i have a very strict rule of not dating under 25. look it's actually not my crib i wish it was but it's not how much we are we only got 24 to go. 24! Do some for me. Um, thank you for your beauty. Thank you for watching and for supporting. It's 61 likes. We got nine TikTok heads today. Not bad. <laughs> I'm 28, yes. Where are your wings? You can actually see them if I flex. <laughs> hey, and someone subscribe to my YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, it would mean the world to me if you would and go watch all my long videos because I'm like this close to reaching 4,000 watch hours and then I can monetize on YouTube. I've been told I can't monetize that much. I'll probably make like a dollar, but that doesn't matter. It will just be cool. It's a dollar more. <laughs> that I can put into my savings to get a kitchen like this so I can stream more. <laughs> uh, looking fabulous as always, thank you. How tall are you? I'm five foot five or 165 centimeters, depending on what system you like to use. 
Hola, mi amor. Tell us the truth. What truth? <laughs> Would you dress like that when you go home to see your family? Probably, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, my mom has seen me in worse outfits than this. Hablas espanol? Sí, un poquito. No, I think they should keep the money. What, what are we talking about? Do you think the US should keep sending billions of dollars to this over I don't talk any politics or war stuff on my channels. I don't want this to be a negative space. I want only love and kindness and positivity spread from my channels. You're gorgeous, thank you. If you think so, you should go follow me on Instagram. Because <laughs> we are very close to our daily goal and that makes me happy. That was like my knee to just pop. <laughs> That's where you get to an age and there's just like sounds coming from your body where you're like, is that normal? Should that have said that? But you're like, I'm just gonna keep cruising because it's too expensive to go to the doctor. <laughs> Um, are you Danish? Yes, I am Danish. However, I do live in Australia and I speak mostly English. English. You have really nice abs. Thank you very much. I do train a lot. They're about to leave though because we're going to start bulking in how long? Do we have the date? Two days. Two days to yours truly start eating like a pig. <laughs> Your kitchen looks different. Thank you. I renovated overnight. You know, it was a big job. So uh, we got there in the end. <laughs> Thank you for the subscribe, Kyle. Um, nah, I moved into my friend's place because I'm about to leave for Denmark. So I'm gonna stay here for a week. Stop talking so much. Jeez. It's all right. Well, would you like me to cook for you then? How long have you been in Australia? For almost four years. Years. Chicken parmesan, huh? Chicken parmy? We do like a chicken parmy. So is today a longer stream to keep you company? No, sorry. We are still doing three hour streams because I still have a whole lot of stuff to do. Um, I gotta clean my house. Gotta. What's the happy dance? Hey! Do the happy dance. Do the happy dance. I like that. Thank you, Billy. That's so sweet. I love that. Um, <laughs> um, yes, I gotta clean my house. I need to. My friend is coming to grab my motorbike today. And um, I'm going for dinner. And. I'm also trying to make that YouTube video. I got a whole lot of stuff on. I'm actually a little bit stressed. You just can't tell. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff on still. So no longer stream. Have a favorite Aussie plant or flower. I don't know if it's actually Aussie, um, I, but I really like parrot flowers. I think they're really cool. Don't they have Komodo dragons in Australia? Yes, they do. I actually saw a really big one this weekend. It's cool. I loved it. It's massive. So beautiful without all the makeup. Thank you. We like that. Beautiful. I appreciate you all. Very much. If. If. Do beep 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 beep. But we do still have 20 minutes left, guys. So you, you're not allowed to leave me yet. Have you ever been to Canada? Yes, I used to live in British Columbia. Donate here if you want. Donate alert to come on screen. That would be nice. Thank you very much. We like the little, the little screens. I highly doubt that you appreciate 
everyone just saying but that's not true i honestly do appreciate everyone because even the haters help my stream do better if anything negativity usually actually enhances your lives and your videos so i do appreciate every single one of you mm -hmm. even the guy that talked about taxes in the start how much would it take to break the over 25 rule? You're not breaking the over 25 rule. Your brain is not fully developed until you reach 25. It's proven. It's your frontal cortex lobe, something like that. So, I don't make the rules. I just follow science. Um, and I I'm I'm only date people that are fully developed. Um, <laughs> your house looks different. A little, a little, yes. A little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rolling on my floor laughing. What are we laughing about? Me? Am I funny? I'm always funny. Cover yourself, but then how would I keep the views? We I mean, girls got to do what a girls got to do, man. Thank you. Lol. Hey, I'm just saying. Just saying. That would be really hard. Good point. <laughs> we had overnight oats for breakfast with berries. You're always funny, happy, and sexy. Thank you very much. I try to be. Bring back the hoodie. No. I did actually do one stream in a hoodie that went surprisingly well, and I was like, hmm, maybe I am more than my appearance. <laughs> that was a joke, guys. I was just being sarcastic. I know that I am. Um, your face skin looks so clear. Any recommendations? Um, be born in Scandinavia. Always helps. Oh. We reached 50% of our TikTok goal, guys. Thank you. I love you. And appreciate you all. Uh, I was laughing at the band word. Huh? I didn't add the band word. My moderators do. Do you have a favorite food that you look forward to bulking with? No, maybe bacon, <laughs> but that's a dirty bulk, and I know it's I know it's naughty, but I do like I do like bacon. Thank you for the roses. I appreciate that. I'm very surprised you have no show and no jewelry. I am a very very um, low maintenance appearance girl. I just I'm I'm quite lazy to be honest. <laughs> Um, and I don't do nails or pedicures, manicures, jewelry, eyelashes, lips, hair. I did do hair once, but um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just a bit lazy to be honest. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. She's acting single. I am very good at acting single. In basic, nothing wrong with basic. I like basic. It's a little bit of a flex basic, I think. Um, I'm proud of what I look like. I actually do have tattoos, you just can't see them. Well, you just blew your cover. How did I blow my cover? Like I say, women are never really single. Yes, we are. I've been single for almost two years. I swear my DMs are so damn empty. <laughs> yes, I am Danish. Uh, you just called yourself lazy, but when people call you lazy, you say that's one thing they can't call you. So I'm lazy when it comes to my appearance. Like I don't put a lot of work into what I look like. I'm not lazy as a person. There's a difference there. No way that you're single. I don't know how to prove this to you guys. <laughs> like everything I post and everything I do is always solo. Like 
I would feel bad if I have a boyfriend because he would just never <laughs> appear in anything. Gotta skedaddle. Bye. You're single because you want to. Yes. But like, I don't know how to prove to you guys that I am single. I've even been honest about like the few times that I've been dating and stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to prove it to you any more than I already have. My Twitter handle is also the same name as I have on here. I have the same name on all my platforms. Panella Morrison. Everywhere. What type of men do you like? The kind ones, preferably. The kind ones. You could... Get your boyfriend in your content if you had one. Yes, but I don't have one, so there's no one to appear in my content. It would also have to be a very confident man, wouldn't it? Obviously, you're single because you got no wedding ring. I was actually thinking about that, and I was like, even if I had a man and I did get him engaged, I was like, I don't really like to wear rings, though. <laughs> Do you ever feel lonely? Yes. That I do. But not very often, to be honest. We are 1,000 followers away from 745. <laughs> what about your troll accounts? Troll accounts? Do I have troll accounts? If I have troll accounts, like accounts I go on and troll people with, no. I don't ever share any negativity from any accounts. Do I have a fake account that I used to stalk people with? Yes. But do I ever write anything from it? No. Um, do you believe men should have equal rights? <laughs> men and women should have equal rights, yes. <laughs> Aussie, 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 Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Yes. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? We're running on our last 12 minutes, guys. I know how to say hello in three different languages. That is cool. Where do you live? Australia. Australia, baby. Australia. <laughs> mm. How many cc's? My motorbike is a baby. She's only 250. I'm saying goodbye to her today. We're saying goodbye to Nina. Do you have problems with people uploading your content as their own? Yes, a lot of fake profiles of me out there. Usually you can tell because they haven't even bothered to take off the watermark. So if my watermark is on it, it's not me. But honestly, there's just so much of it that I really can't. It'd be a full-time job taking that down. I don't have a boyfriend, no. I am single. Oh, by myself, don't wanna be. Good song. I can't sing, but that doesn't stop me from doing it, anyways. Where is your other suit? Suit. Sorry to hear that in regards to people stealing your work. Hey, I try to see it as a compliment. They must just think I'm that rad. Which I am, but yeah. Are you going to get another motorcycle? So I'm not selling my motorcycle. My friend is just, um, he's gonna have it while I am overseas. So I'll come back to my bag. Don't you worry. We're coming back to Nina. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And thank you so much for each and everyone that has followed me, both on here and on Instagram. It's much appreciated. You know you're doing well when pe people create fake accounts. Exactly. It should just be a compliment. I just don't want anyone to get scammed out of money because of it, you know. 
What if that's a fan account rather than stealing a video? If it's a fan account, it's more than fine. Like, I don't mind that one bit. I just know that there are people creating fake accounts, pretending to be me, and then trying to steal money from people, and I don't like that. When the fake account called me dear, I knew it was fake. Yes, that is, uh, that is one very, very good sign. But also, in general, I don't reach out to people at all. So, <laughs> why does a lovely woman not have a boyfriend? Because this lovely woman is very busy being a lovely woman. There is no room for a boyfriend in my life right now. So, hey, thank you for the subscribe. Elvis, love that. I'm so excited about getting to, um, getting to 4,000 watch hours on, 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 on YouTube. That'll be an, another little um, goal reached. It's a two pack. It's definitely a four pack. But keep in mind, I've just eaten and had a lot to drink. So it's like disappearing. <laughs> and it's not even close. Yes, it is. It so is. Go on, let me see your two pack then. <laughs> Is it a different kitchen? Yes, just a little, just a tad, tad different. Bit of an upgrade. What are your life goals before getting a boyfriend? And don't say your socials, but the socials is my job. And like, my job is my career. I have a lot of career goals. But I also have a lot of fitness goals. I have a lot of health goals. I had a lot of self-development goals, um, a lot of travel goals. Got a lot of goals. I'm a goal-driven lady. Mm -hmm. uh, hello. What are the fitness goals? I have a whole list of them somewhere. Um, it's in all different aspects. I even have like, <laughs> oh, this is going to sound weird, but I have like a measurement that I would like a body part to measure <laughs> as a goal <laughs> then i also have like um like i would like to for example run a marathon i have done that once before but i'd like to do it again in a better time and um, i would like to be able to do five pull-ups that is also a goal for this year um i have a lot of like tiny things like that i like it Nilla power hey <laughs> But yeah, I got, I got goals in all areas of my life. You are a goal digger. Only wants a man who has goals in his life. That is correct. That is correct. I think goals is extremely important to have. Why can't you do five pull-ups? <laughs> um, it's, it's not as easy as you think it is, especially not for women. So we're still working on it. I can do assisted pull-ups, but that doesn't really count. I got a very heavy lower lower half, okay? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how's it going? What do you do for work? I am a full-time content creator, baby. I used to do a single arm pull up. That would be wild. Maybe that's a goal in like five years when I get the normal pull ups down. <laughs> I have also been more focused in general on my lower body strength and not so much my upper body. Um, so yeah. Can you push the belly out? This is, this is as much as I can push it out at the moment I like your top thank you <laughs> there you go fully trained do you exercise every day I exercise six days a week but I'm ac active seven days a week how are things going? They're going good. We are running on our last four minutes today, guys. 
So if you have any last uh, pressing questions, do drop them before I move along. Um, hi lovely, hello. I did move over to my friend's place, yes. Jeez, I just got here. I'm sorry, you'll have to get here earlier next time. I do read a lot of books, yes. I like books. Books are amazing. <sighs> later stream today. I was on half an hour later today, yes. Um, and I will be for the full week because my friend doesn't leave the house until 7.30. And I just feel like it's a bit rude streaming from her kitchen while she's still here because she'll feel like she can't use her kitchen and that would just be very rude of me, so... Yes, I am coming back to Australia. That requires constant discipline, and it is. I have a lot of discipline. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Any tips to getting in a routine and maintain discipline? Atomic habits. Read atomic habits. You have children in this world. No. Not as far as I know. Um, I'm fairly certain I don't have any kids. Hey, thank you for the TikTok hats. Look at that. We almost reached our goal. Fair enough. Yes, so half an hour later, guys. But I will still be here for three hours. So it happens to book. Yes, the book. And thank you for the subscribe, Joe. I appreciate it. Uh, I am in Australia. But I will be in Denmark soon. Dina Maka, baby. So yeah, drop us a follow if you want to follow along on my Europe tour soon. That'll be fun. <laughs> Children, oh, I have no idea. Are you okay? I am very great. I've had a lovely stream today. I was a little bit worried that it might not go so well considering it's a new place, it's new lighting, it's new setups, it's new Wi-Fi. A lot of things could have gone wrong, but I feel like it went really well. So I'm just very stoked on that. And we're also close to a hype train, which we haven't had today. Um, and you know the drill, if the hype train's on, I got to stay. <laughs> so you might extend my stream for a little bit. Um, Thanks for the recommendation, you're very welcome. <laughs> Good night, I hope you have a great sleep. Are we gonna make the hype train? Are we not gonna make the hype train? Does anyone, uh, anybody wanna help the hype train? Little, little hype train, just a little bit. <laughs> you have beautiful hair, thank you. I'm trying to keep it healthy. Um, my job is being a full-time content creator. You look like someone's nightmare. Look, I probably am, to be honest. I'm sure there's an ex-boyfriend out there that just like wakes up in the middle of the night and sweats and just like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Mm, thank you. If you do think so, a hundred bits within 40 seconds will make me stay here. Just saying. What part of Denmark are you going to? I will be staying in Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Doo -doo 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 -doo. No? No bits? No bits? Boys. Disappointing. Hey, another TikTok hat. We reached 80% of our goal on TikTok too. Thank you. 15 seconds left. No. No. Oh. Did we make it? Did we? Did we? Or was that from the same person? I think it was. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh. <laughs> we almost made it, guys. Oh well, no hype train for Nilla today. I still appreciate the support though. And for the TikTok hats, we were very close to reaching 20. Hat three. Three left. Three left. Um. How tall are you? I'm five foot five. Thank you for all the follows, guys. I appreciate them all. Both on here and on Instagram. 
All in all, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for being here time after time, day after day, hour after hour. I appreciate you all so much. Um, eternally grateful for the life that I now am capable of having because of you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you. I love all of you very much. If you haven't yet, I'm just going to say it one more time. Please drop us a follow. We do have goals, goals to reach. Both on here, but also on the Instagram. Same name as on here, or there's a link in my bio. And um, yeah, I will be back again tomorrow. You know the drill. I wouldn't leave you. Um, again, it'll be 7.30, so half an hour later than I am usually on here. So yeah. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day or a great night, depending on where you are in the world. And um, I'll see you tomorrow.